Hi, I'm Pete with CAT Security, and I want to welcome you to our product overview and installation series. In these videos, we're going to take a look at our CAT Security products, their features and benefits, and how to install one of these devices on your vehicle to keep your catalytic converter safe from unwanted hands. With any good project, it is important to have the right tools for the job. With the installation of your CAT Security Catalytic Converter Shield, I want to go through a list of tools that you may need to install your device. Those tools include a half inch drill, a quarter inch impact gun, a flat blade screwdriver, a set of box and open end wrenches, hex or allen keys, a ratchet with sockets, drill bits, a rivet nut installation tool, and where applicable, a rivet tool. If your specific product requires the use of security torch bits, they will be provided in your hardware packet. In this video, we're going to be installing a CAT security shield on a 2003 to 2011 Honda Element. In this particular video, we are using an all-wheel drive model. The two-wheel drive model does have some subtle differences, which we'll point out in the video. Before you get started, you'll want to have the proper protective equipment in place. Make sure you have safety glasses, gloves, and anything else that you may need. We want to avoid getting anything in our eyes or getting any cuts and abrasions on our hands or skin. What you'll want to do first is remove the 10 millimeter bolt that holds the oxygen sensor wire into place. When removing the oxygen sensor bracket, the bolt that holds it in could be pretty rusty. If it snaps off, that's okay. We're going to be replacing it in a different spot later on in this video. What we'll do next here is install the driver side rail. We're going to slide it up under the heat shield and center it up with the factory holes. You can use the hardware that came with the vehicle or there is new supplied hardware in your kit. There is a difference here between the two and the four wheel drive option. The all wheel drive option here does have the brace that needs to be removed out of the way. The two wheel drive option will not have this. You will tuck that brace or strap underneath the side rail and then reinstall the bolt. These bolts may be rusty. We are going to be reusing this bolt, so it is a pretty critical step. Once the bolts are in place, go ahead and tighten them down and the driver side rail installation will be complete. To install this side rail, remove the two 12 millimeter bolts. If your Honda Element has side rails, you will want to trim right where this rail is going. You only need to trim about a quarter of an inch off of that side rail bracket in order to get the side rail to fit in properly. Once the bolts are removed, put the side rail up and under the heat shield. Install the bolts and that side rail installation is almost complete. For the last part of the installation on this side rail, you're going to need to drill a hole. If you have the all-wheel drive version, you'll drill an 11 millimeter hole and install the oversized black rivet. If you have the two-wheel drive version, you'll install a 3 16 rivet. Install the rivet using a rivet installation tool. One to two squeezes should pull the mandrel directly through the rivet and it should be firmly set in place. Once that side rail is installed, we're going to move on and install the main part of this shield. Note that the outside of the box of the shield will go on the outside of the rails. To line this up properly, use the oxygen sensor wires as guides to make sure that your bolt holes are getting lined up and in the right place. Once you have the bolt holes lined up, grab some of the tamper-proof security Torx bolts and put a couple in place to hold the shield. You'll also see that I relocated the oxygen sensor wires on the outside of the box using one of the security Torx bolts. This is perfectly fine and will not harm the wires in any way. You can install the shield one of two ways. You can put all the security Torx bolts in initially or you can install the rivets. My personal preference is to loosely install the security Torx bolts with the provided star washers. Once they are loosely installed, then you'll install the rivets.
On the final part of your installation, there's a tab that goes on the back of the security box. You'll use one of the security Torx bolts and two rivets. You may need to move or manipulate the exhaust around a little bit to get access to the holes. To install the rivets properly on this shield, you will want to have a 90 degree rivet gun. It makes installing the rivets much easier. Once this hardware is in place, your installation is complete and your Honda Element is now CAT security protected.